Hi there, Fat Cup Chef here. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, chili tempura prawns. These are absolutely delicious little snack with some sweet chili sauce to dip uh, and it's a really quick and easy thing to do. So, what have we got? I have, uh, I've got a glass bowl here so you can see what's happening. We need a mixing bowl. I've then got uh, 75 grams of, of uh, sorry, 75 grams of the whiter corn flour. There we go. I've got 50 grams of plain flour. Okay. I've got a pinch of, in my case, sea salt, but you don't need to use sea salt, you can use any sort of salt. I've then finely chopped uh, one red chilli and one spring onion. Okay, finely chopped up. Put those in there. You don't have to use either of these, in which case you just have crispy tempura prawns. But I like them a little bit spicier. I've got uh, one medium egg that I've just kind of just given it a little bit of a light beat and I've got 200 mils of cold sparkling water. It's important it's sparkling water, it's important it's cold. If it's not cold at that moment, plop some ice in there and it should be fine. I've got some chopsticks, you can use a spoon, use a fork. This is a rough mix so I'm going to put these together like this. It doesn't, uh, it's actually going to be a little bit lumpy, actually strangely that makes it a little bit better. It's a little bit lumpy, which might sound strange, but there you go. So mix those well together and then make a little hole in the middle. Pour my egg in and I pour my sparkling water in. Most of it in. I'm going to whisk it with my chopsticks. Froth is up, so as you can see, it gets nice and bubbly because of the sparkling water that we've used. Now I'd use slightly less water. Here I've probably used, what have I used? I've used about 150 mils of water, because I want it a little bit thicker to make sure it coats. Make sure you get it off the edges. Meantime, on my stove, I have uh, some vegetable oil heating up in a pan. Um, I don't have a deep fat fryer. If you've got one, that's what you would use. So I've just got a, a normal small uh, frying pan. I put about, about a centimetre. So we're saying about three quarters of an inch, between centimetre and a half, three quarters of an inch of, of water, a sort of oil in there. And that's heating to a high heat. So you want it to be uh, nice and hot so it crisps up. The prawns only takes a matter of seconds to cook them. So let's make our way over to the pan. Let's pop you back a bit so you can see what's happening. So I've got my prawns here. You want big prawns, don't try and do this with little ones. So you want king prawns, big prawns. These have been cleaned out as well. Make sure you take out the, uh, the lovely little uh, poo trail down their back. So. I'm going to leave this to stand just for a couple of seconds. It just thickens up a little bit. In the meantime, I like to test my oil. The way I do it, you can use a piece of bread floating around. When it goes brown, it's kind of done. Uh, but I just use a chopstick and just a little drop of oil in there and we can see whether or not it's fired up. And that's not quite hot enough yet. I want it to go brown, so I'm going to power that up. I've also got my slotted spoon to take out my finished uh, tempura prawns. I'm going to get myself some kitchen towel so I can pop it on there just to drain it off. So that should be heating up nicely, dropping a little drop in. It's crisping up but it's still not quite hot enough. I want it to brown within about 10 to 15 seconds and I know it's done. So it's almost getting there, it's spinning round and round. Looks like it's swimming, it's very peculiar as it releases the air. Let's try another one. Okay, so that's now almost there. I'd get my little sort of spoon, I can test it. Get out of there. Give a bit of that. Hmm, it's quite crispy, which is nice. 
what we're going to do is we're going to hold it by the tail, we're going to dip it in, and we're going to let it, don't just throw it into the oil, we need to just gently lower it into the oil, it will bubble a bit, um, so you don't actually stick to the bottom. Or if you're using a basket in a uh, deep fat fryer, if you drop it straight in, it can stick to the bottom. So you actually want to just lay it in just for a couple of seconds or a second or two and then just let go of it. But do be careful because this is obviously hot. That's now doing quite nicely. Right, so I'm going to go in with one, so I've got my tail. I'm going to give it a good old coating of the batter. Stir it around a bit and then drop it in. Now I've got my slotted spoon so I can just flip it because I've only got shallow here. You can hear it firing away. Be careful because the oil is getting really hot. I'm going to flip this over. There we go. It's going to take probably what, less than a minute for this to cook. I tend to do only a few at a time, so if you overload it, it takes the heat out of the oil and it could go soggy, if you don't want. You can do more than one at a time, I'll probably do three or four at a time, doing something like this. Flip it over again. There we go. And it's now, you want it just to turn brown, so it's just going that lovely kind of golden colour, so the form won't be overcooked in the middle, it's going to be moist. The batter will be lovely and crispy on the outside. So you'll have the most amazing crispy corn. So, that, I'm going to say, is now done. And there we have it. Tempura crispy prawns. And if you want to know more, then just uh, subscribe to the site. It's free and you'll just get updates uh, when I next post. Back soon.